Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Courtney from Calm the Farm Flowers and today I'm starting off in the barn and we're gonna look at the irrigation that I'm going to be setting up today. Probably don't need the shovel, but you never know. So I use a 13 mil drip line. So here is the drip emitters. Somewhere on there, there's an emitter. There, I find it adequate. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it is, well, it isn't bad. And then we have the plain black 13 mil, and I use that as a header line. What I've gone through and done, well, I did it a while ago before it started raining, is, if I can unstick one, is I've gone through and put together the end lines and the header lines. So that one is for the end. And then the header line is the same, but it has a tap. But yeah, it's exactly the same. So it's got, each bed will have four lines of irrigation. So you've got two, three, uh, four. And then this one has the end. So the water goes up through there and I can turn the tap off. If I don't want to water that bed, I have, all my bits and bobs in there and underneath there. So I think what we'll do is head round to the bed that I'm gonna put the chrysanthemums in and lay some irrigation. Okay, so here's the bed that I'm going to put the irrigation down. First of all, I'm going to level off the top uh, as best I can, I'm not gonna, be precise. So I'm going to do that now. If you see me doing some karate, it's the mosquitoes. They're not getting any better. It is horrible. Oh, oh, they are everywhere. They're huge and they are relentless. Here is the, it's not finished, but the four lines of irrigation are down on this bed. So I'll start from up here. So what I do is I've got the line here where the water will come in. And here, because it's this first on the bed, I've got a pressure reducer and filter assembly that will go on here and then a tap end that'll go there and that's where the hose will hook in. So then I'll have the rest of these four beds all on the same line. Generally I water, so over here in with the ranunculus and tulips and poppies and that, I would do three beds at once, but I think I'll do two water two at once here because they're so far from the tap. So it is a closed loop. So it comes in through that tap and then it goes down each of the four lines. And then down here at the other end is the end where it's a closed loop. So water comes in and around. It just keeps going around and around the bed. These lines are about 30 centimeters apart. So this first line is uh, 15 centimeters in and then 30, 30, 30, and there's 15 centimeters from that one to the end of the bed. So each of the emitters are 30 centimeters apart. So in theory, it should cover the entire bed. In practice, it probably doesn't. So I will have to do some extra um, supplementing water. If I need to, I'll try and plant them on an emitter so that I don't have to do that 
too much. I do have okay, floating around. Uh, I don't know where they are. I've got some extra little drips that I can. Oh, I've got my hair cut and now it's really short. Um, some extra little drips that I can pop in to the line to add more drippers if I need to. So this bed's going to be open, so no cover on top. It'll just be the chrysanthemums and dahlias. I'm thinking I'll need to do another bed of dahlias. But anyway, as where all the other beds will be covered with weed mat, so I won't be able to see what's not getting watered. It'll just be, if it starts to die, then it's not getting watered. I've just realized that my phone is on like 10% battery. So I won't be recording much. Anyway, let's get this fixed up. So I start with it together and I put some thread tape, some irrigation thread tape on each end, on each piece so that it shouldn't leak. So I'm a bit funny, everywhere where there's a thread, I will put thread tape. So there's the filter that I can clean out when it needs it. And since our water comes from the irrigation channels, it's dirty. So I'm often, actually have a filter where the tap starts and goes onto the hose. So I have a timer set up there and that's got a filter on it. And then I have this filter here. So I shouldn't get the drip emitters blocked at any point. I have had this barrel bit split on the one that goes, that's just here somewhere. Okay, I just need one more bit to go here so that the tap connection can fit in there. It's, uh, ooh, I think it's the next day. So I've just got the chrysanthemums or some of them ready to go off the irrigations down. I have augured a uh, hundred holes. I don't quite have a hundred, some have died. So I'm gonna go through and put them in now. We are forecast for some rain tonight and it's looking ominous that way so fingers crossed we get some rain that sounds silly let's hope we don't get too much rain though okay there is 93 93 chrysanthemums planted so this first section is Vienna Copper. Oh, mosquitoes. So Vienna Copper, and then we have Vienna Cream, uh, Vienna Pink, Vienna White, and then Baltica Salmon and my helper. And then earlier today, my son and I put some irrigation on this bed and planted two meters, two meters of sunflowers. 
So, yeah, that's about 220, I think. So that's what, then the dahlias will go up here. That's not very much space. So I'll just plant what I can in there and see how we go for the rest. So I've just quickly gone through and put a layer of lucerne hay over it. So that should keep them cooler and cleaner, I'm hoping. And hopefully not a haven for uh, earwigs and all that, but we'll see. And that is me done because it has started to rain. So I will be back whew, later on with some more. See ya. Hey guys, I think it's um, probably a couple of days later. I'm not even sure what I last filmed. It might've been laying down some irrigation, like having laid it down and maybe planting the chrysanthemums that are here behind me. So since then I have laid the weed mat on these two beds and planted one lot of feverfew. And I have another lot to go in now. But I just wanted to show you before I put them in how I um, label my stuff. So I have some cattle identification tags that, and a stake with a hole in it. Cable tie. And literally, can't even see it, just cable tie through that hole, through there and back together. So I write on the tag with a tag pen, tag marker, and it will last for years and years. We use them in our cattle and you can still read the tags after like seven years. So I feel like these will be pretty good. With the tulips, I just did, sorry, my legs are hurting. I did like tulip one, two, three, four, because I didn't think I'd be planting the same tulip each year. So, but with the fever few, and I've got the yarrow, Achillea, they um, are perennials. So it should be here for a few years. So I'm just gonna stick these no, I'm not going to stick them in the ground because I'm going to start at that end. So I already have a marker there um, for where the next lot of the fever fuel will start. So we have this side is the single one and this bed here will be the snowball one. I've just had a little look here at the sunflowers that my son and I planted well, six days ago, today's Friday, and they're coming up. So I've got the next lot to go in tomorrow. So, yay, and the drip irrigation is going. So that's what's happening here. So I'm gonna set up the camera and get to planting some more fever few. So I'm a firm believer in outsourcing things that you aren't good at. I am not good at starting seeds. So I buy my seeds in plug trays of 288. I don't always need the 288, but I am planting the 288. Okay, so that's that bed finished planting. 
66 of the snowball for the few in there and then the rest of that tray will go in here. this irrigation the last drip was here and then there was no more drip to the end of the line so they're every 30 centimeters so there's one there and there's one there oh, there's a cat there hey baby so I've got a variable flow dripper that I'm going to put in here and that should get those four uh, those four plants so I'm just going to make a hole through the weed mat into the pipe bigger there we go it's in there so I'll turn the irrigation on and we can twist this one to make it more or less. Now, are you going to get wet? Hey? No? Will you wait there and see what happens? Probably nothing. Okay, we've got a drip happening. Let's open it up a bit. Now, I don't have much pressure at the moment because the I'm milking the cows, so the pump's going over there. But if you open this up, oh, that's too far. We get a little fountain. That will definitely water that one. Oh, getting a nice fountain now. See, that's going to be way too much water. That's pretty cute. So we'll wind him back a bit. But it does soak through the weed mat. So, hopefully. Oh, you're back. Hello. What is it? What's it? Oh. likes it. So my mic doesn't like me so this could get really windy so today I've finished planting the 288 snowball fever few that I had to finish off this bed here so I planted them down here and then I finished off the rest of them in this bed here I've got a cat on my foot um, and from there she is. Um, 
from there I've gone on to Archelia. So that's in here. So that's the summer berries. So I think I did 132 there. So yeah, that's the snowball overview and the Legmo single there. The chrysanthemums are looking pretty cool. And then over here we have the sunflowers that are coming up there. I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.